What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Still Dormi, still German. And currently in a quite hot Imphal Manipur. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm uh, making a video of the market. And uh, market. So uh, today I'm in a very special place because this year is the world's only women's only market. So there are only, uh, as you can see, only women are allowed to sell here. Ah, uh, environment. Yeah. No, no men are allowed to sell here. If a man tries to sell something here, they get fined. Like, uh, there are like two big buildings. One is there, one is behind me. And there are around like more than 5,000 women working here. And uh, the women, they also govern this place. So, uh, this place, if I'm right, it soon has its 500th birthday. So it's from uh, 1530. And yeah, since then, only women are allowed to sell here. And yeah, I'm just gonna take you with me through the market. But at first you may wonder, why are there only women allowed to sell? And it has something to do with the history of this place. In the old, uh, I think, Kingdom of Manipur, there was a law in the 1500s, 1600s, which, uh, a labor law, which forced men to uh, work outside or for the army and stuff. So the women in the city, they have had to get creative and had to earn some money. So whether they were producing goods and we're starting to sell them here. Not here in this place, like the market got relocated at some point. But uh, the market itself exists since almost 500 years. I think in 10 years it's going to be the 500th birthday. And yeah, I'm going to take you with me through the market. It's very, very big. Like as I said, 5,000 people working here. And uh, after the British, as the British were leaving India, they were trying to like sell the market to uh, investors and stuff. But then there was, I think, the second so-called women's war, which was just a protest of just women here. So also you can see back there, I think there's even more market back there. So there are like those three big buildings and they have uh, multiple floors. So. Let's just enter the market and have a look. Let's go. Also, before we enter, only around 3% of my viewers are subscribers. So you can become one now. And you can already see here, I think here's like a, I think something like a bank or something you can get a loan for, like gold or something, right at the entrance. So if you are short of money, you can just, Get some here. Uh, no. Not very hard to tell, but we are like right now in the vegetable section, and it smells good and fresh here. Also eggs, and the chilies, and the traditional chairs we also seen in uh, Shillong. And here we have a lot of uh, fresh fish. Looks good. <laughs> A lot of fresh fish. Hello. I'm, a, I'm a making a video of the market. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Fish is fish is still alive, so fresh it is. <laughs> I, I don't need fish now. Thank you. So fish is actually still breathing. As as far as the fish can breathe on land. Also here we have the small fishies. And what you also often see on those markets is like uh, some, some kind of eel which comes from the rice patties, from the rice fields. I think maybe it's this one, I think this one. So before you harvest the rice you can actually collect a lot of those small eel. But uh, I'm not a big fish person, but I'm gonna take you through the market as I said. Here 
we have some more uh, crafted stuff. And, uh, yeah, those cups, they look like the cups from which you can drink chai. And I, uh, I don't know how long this market is open. Also, you have a lot of, uh, I've seen it before, like tables here and people just eating. So, they just enjoy their time here at the market. And yeah, as I, as I was saying, I don't know how long this market is open. So I have to hurry a bit because it's already like 4 p.m. And at 5 it's gonna get dark. Let's go one more row here. This is corn. So uh, here are all those crafted things. I actually don't know what they are used for, but I'm gonna ask my friends and they will tell me. So I think here in the area they are more resting right now, but they look very nice. As I said, uh, because the men were forced to work in different places, the women started to craft stuff and sell it here. And it went on for 500 years. Let me see. Do I go one more fish road? Let's take a let's take a turn. I also don't want to make this video uh, like a 40 minute video. It's it's so crowded here. Let me show you. I also see this here everywhere and it actually it, it smells very good like you can't smell it here but it, it smells very good at these shops here here you have the kwai, the betel nut as you get everywhere in India or it's gonna get turned into a pan let us take a road here here we have uh, big leaves I think for like Packing or cooking and for eating, probably banana leaves. Hello. And right next to the bananas, coconuts. Like uh, in terms of vegetables and stuff, and snacks, you can just find anything here. And it's just the first building. And there is also a, actually a shrine here, right next to us here. You can see there. I think it's Hanuman. And uh, yeah, let me find a way out and show you the second building. Here's like the noisy main street. We're just gonna cross here real quick and go to the second building. Also, a thing I forgot to tell only woman that have been married at least once are allowed to work here. So uh, if you have been married, even if you're divorced, if you're a widow or something, you can work here. But if you're a young single woman, you can't work here. And also all the politics involved about this market is all done by women. Like only workers from this market are allowed to be like the, govern the market. So here's the second building, but I actually don't know if I can go in there because there are like curtains blocking all the entrances. So let me just take a look and uh, see if I can get in there. Here, here you can see the market from the outside and the big market in the background. And back there are more markets, but those are also where the men have their shops. Today we're just gonna explore the women's market. So I think here they're selling clothes and stuff. Oh yes, wow. a lot of clothes. I don't see a single man in here. It's all just clothes and women. I don't even know if I'm allowed to go in here because I don't see any man here. I'm not sure. 
Maybe this is the women's only area. Oh no? Okay, there are men going in. So I don't have to don't have to worry. There's also like a lot of cloth here. Yeah. The entire market is just cloth. Let me try to find out if there's something more interesting. And the third one, back there. And yeah, Imphal, hotter than Kohima and Shillong, but not as hot as Guwahati, so I can actually survive here. So, let's cross this crazy street. It also uh, reminds a lot of uh, mainland India. Like, just look at this road. It's like a tiny version of Delhi. It's also uh, same as dusty as Delhi. So the name of the market, Nuri Kaitel, I think it's called. It actually means uh, mother's market. I don't know if I told it earlier. But uh, that's the meaning. So now here is the third building. But I think it also just says cloth. Let's take a look. Let's take a walk through here. Well, it looks like it's just a lot of cloth everywhere. Hello. Also, not too many older people speak English. Many do, much more than in different places like Agartala. Uh, but still, English is not so much of a thing oftentimes. I think here we have another shrine. Yes, we have. And here, a lot more cloth. Hello. Oh, you can also see. I think those are the traditional cloth. Hello. Those are traditional? Is a Manipuri? Oh, nice. Oh, this one looks good. And uh, I, wear, I wear like this. Like this. Like this. It's good. Okay. Okay, uh, give me one second. Let me, let me take a short look at, uh, at all of them and then I, I, I'm going to buy one. Okay, we upgraded our cloth. I hope I look good. I'm not sure people find it a bit funny, but... It will be fine. I'm going to check out if there's more of the market. And uh, if not, then we will see. Because I thought it has multiple floors, but it seems like the second floor is just uh, closed stores. Okay, done with the business. Let's uh, try to find more. Also, regarding those uh, scarves, I actually got a lot of them. Like in Northeast India, I got like anywhere I go, people give me those. So by now I think I have six scarves. The most I got from Assam, the white and red ones. But I already sent most of them back to Germany to my family. Because they're filling my luggage with all those scarves. Let's take another short look at the backside of the second market. And if there's nothing interesting, then I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I also tried to vlog the fort here and some more stuff. And uh, I actually also have a lot of videos to edit. So, let's take another look here. Also after the vlog, gonna get some Momo. And yeah, people are friendly. Manipur so, na so far is a nice place. It's just my second day here. But yeah, here as I said, we have a lot of clothes. 
and over 5,000 women working here every day since 500 years. But yeah, many people always ask me, please don't make your videos 40 minutes, make them shorter. So today you get a shorter video. You know the YouTube stuff, subscribe, like, comment, watch my older videos. Especially my Mumbai vlogs, they, they don't get many views, but they're my favorite. And yeah, I'm gonna film the fort now and see you in the next video. Also, in three hours, my video eating frog releases. If you're watching this, it's, it's probably been out for a week, so. Gonna vlog the fort, then the lake, and then we're gonna go to Arunachal Pradesh. Let's go.